Meanwhile, an update to bring you tonight at 6. The latest round of funding has been announced for the Springfield Rail Improvements Project. Nearly $70 million is on track for the next round of construction. That's right. WAND's Doug Wolf reports when the finished project will improve traffic, safety, and the quality of life for people traveling through the capital city. From train horns to block crossings, the Springfield Rail Improvements Project will eventually abate noise and eliminate bottlenecks caused by trains in downtown Springfield, with the state investing more than $68 million into the latest segment of the project. We are fixing decades-old problems, creating good jobs, bringing people into downtown, and connecting Chicago and Springfield and St. Louis. Effective immediately, Madison and Jefferson Streets will be closed between 9th and 11th Streets for an estimated 14 months to start construction on new underpasses. Madison and Jefferson will be lowered to build new railroad bridges and create double tracks for Norfolk Southern Railroad, as well as proposed Union Pacific and Amtrak lines. Omar Osman is the State Transportation Secretary. The Springfield Rail, uh, Rail Improvement Project truly will unlock an investment in this region that will be felt for generations to come. State Senator Doris Turner and State Representative Sue Shear point to improvements in the quality of life for Springfield residents. We've all heard the complaints about the trains going uh, right through downtown, you know, not being able to get through to the medical district. It enables people who live here in central Illinois to live in a great big world instead of in a little box. While Governor Pritzker says the rail projects will eliminate crossings and improve safety. In the most tragic cases can cause fatal accidents between the trains passing through and Illinoisans trying to get across the tracks. That danger must end. The total cost of the Springfield Rail Improvements Project will eventually hit $475 million. Doug Wolf reporting WAND News.